We're meeting backstage John and Jonna, two, <laughs> two lovely lads that performed here at the Frankfurt Music Massive for Elixir Strings. It's John Thorne and John Smith. Guys, I was listening to your performances, lovely music, singer, I would say singer-songwriter, influenced by folk music. You're writing the songs, John? Uh, yep, yep, I write a song every once in a while. Um, and I sing, also sing some traditional English folk songs. I'm really into Americana and blues but also English folk music. So it's kind of a combination of all of that. I used to write a lot of instrumental, you know, tricky guitar stuff. And then I, I just got really bored of it. You know, it's, I think there's only so much you can hear before you need to hear a song. Yeah. And, and I, think it's, I think the most important thing, and it's, you know, it's, the, it's the thing that grabs people and, and holds them, is that it is a good song, you know. And I, all the guitar stuff happens around it, I, you know. It's incredibly virtuous on the guitar. He has a much more facility, but everything John ever writes song-wise always serves a song and the story. The story comes first. John, your career as a bass player, uh, we talked about it. You've played with many great artists like Lamb. I'm a huge fan of that band. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us more My about it? My career's been quite diverse. I've played drum and bass-esque, folk drum and bass. I don't know how you describe Lamb. But I've done that uh, all the way through the band's career since 96. I've played... Um, flat out folk with people like Donovan and James Yorkston. Um, I've made albums with Sherlock Gertie and Robert Miles and done some recording with Robert Fripp and people like that. The first time I saw John play, actually I'd, my wife randomly bought me his record before I even saw him. I said, check out this guitar player. And then a couple of months later we were at a festival and I saw John and it was like, he did winter, you know, like, puts the guitar on his lap and Oh, amazing stuff. I've never seen anything like that before. Did you do that stuff before you were using Elixir Strings? Did they have any influence or effect mm. on your playing? I've been playing them about a year now. Yeah. The best thing about them is that I don't have to change them so often. Because yeah. I, I play really hard and I do a lot of tuning and actually... The, the, I don't know, someone said to me that they're, it's, it's because they're coated they last longer, but they're actually stronger than other strings. And I, I can really give them a, a really hard time and they, and they last. Mm. And they hold their tuning amazingly well, actually. When, yeah, yeah. Once they've bedded in... Same for acoustic bass strings? Definitely. I mean, it took about it took about two or three hours for them to bed in. Yeah. And they haven't moved. And I've done, For me, in the last four days, I've just got the guitar out of its case. And it's been, well, yeah, we've, yeah. we've done 11 gigs on, did, yeah. on one set of strings each. And, yeah, that, and I didn't yeah, break yeah. one string and I, and I mess yeah. around with tuning a lot. Also, they're very easy on the fingers as well. Yeah. Cool. And you're on tour in England, uh, touring in England this year. England Tuesday. You start on Tuesday. Yeah, well, get a haircut, get shaved, guys. <laughs> Brush your teeth. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very, very much tongue. for for this very nice interview and for the last few days we spent oh, together. Pleasure. Thank you for having us. Uh, here. Hope been, you, yeah. we yeah. see each other again and, and keep in contact. It's been amazing. Hope to see you soon. Check out the websites and have a good time. Bye.